I quit the law to become an entrepreneur, all because of this guy. This is Naval Ravikant. He is one of the first round investors of Uber and Twitter. Naval's also known for his famous Twitter thread, how to get rich without getting lucky. In this lesson, I'm gonna share Naval's simple three-step process for you to break free from the rat race and join the new rich. If you've ever felt stuck in a nine to five job that you hate and you wanted to achieve financial freedom, keep watching. The three M's of leverage. What is leverage? We can't talk about leverage without referring to this classic quote from Archimedes. Give me a lever long enough and a place to stand and I will move the earth. Basically, leverage is just the difference between your inputs and your outputs. High leverage means you get a large output from a small input. For example, an author spends a thousand hours writing a book and then makes a million dollars from it. The 1,000 hours is the input and then the $1 million is the output. So that works out to be $1,000 an hour. Not bad. Low leverage means that you have a small output from a high input. For example, you've got a lawyer that works 60 hours a week and earns about $2,000 a week. The 60 hours is the input and that's quite a lot. And then the output is the $2,000, which might sound like a lot, but when you boil that down to an hourly rate, it's only $33. Point here is that high leverage activities make you wealthy and low leverage activities keep you trapped in the rat race. This brings us to the three M's of leverage. The first M of leverage is this old thing, manpower. Manpower just refers to the use of humans to perform tasks and achieve goals. Basically, this is people working for you. It's labor. Let's say you own a barber shop. One barber, which is the input, can do one haircut at a time which is the output. You can't do more haircuts at a time without getting more barbers. So manpower is a low leverage activity. It's the oldest form of leverage. And look, it's probably the worst, mainly because managing people is messy as fuck. Naval summed up manpower leverage when he said the following. Labor leverage will impress your parents, but don't waste your time chasing it. The second M of leverage is money. Money is simply a medium of exchange that helps you do a transaction for a good or a service. It is a good form of leverage because it can be converted to other forms. For example, you can spend $100,000 on manpower, which is the input that generates $2 million in output. But the bad thing about money is that only a few people have a lot of it. So this means that rich people can leverage their riches to get richer and poor people can't. The third and final M of leverage is media. Media refers to distribution channels through which information is distributed. Media is the most exciting form of leverage. And we first saw this in the printing press through the use of books, then through broadcast media such as radio. And now we see it with the internet. A common use of the internet to distribute media is through code and content. And that's actually the two main categories of media that we're gonna be talking about. So taking a look at content first, you know what content is, you consume it all the time. You're consuming it right now as you're watching or listening to this lesson. It includes videos, podcasts, social media posts, audio books, blogs, newsletters, online courses, all of that stuff, all of the information that you consume online. Content is high leverage because you can record one podcast episode, which is the input and reach millions of people, which is the output. The second main category of media leverage is this old thing, code. Code is a set of instructions that computers follow to do things over and over again. And coding languages are used to structure websites, develop apps, video games, analyze data and run operating systems like what your laptop uses or what your phone uses like iOS. Let's say you write code, which is the input that lets you auto magically identify which song is playing. That's the output, Shazam. So we've got that overview of the three M's of leverage, manpower, money, media, and the two broad categories of media, which are content and code. That leads us into a discussion of why you feel like you're trapped in the rat race. And it all comes down to something called the old rich ruse. The old rich ruse refers to the traditional wealth building model where people trade their manpower for money. And it is a ruse for three reasons. Firstly, because the old rich trap you in the rat race. The rat race is a never ending cycle of working, earning and spending. It's like running around a circle track, never reaching any sort of finish line. The problem with this is that the old rich use manpower and money 
to get richer while everyone else keeps running around the circle track. Let's say your boss makes 20 times your salary working 20 hours a week by leveraging the manpower of you and your colleagues. The next reason why the old rich ruse is bad is because it has a high marginal cost of replication or high MCR. Something has a high MCR if it costs a lot to duplicate or copy. So your manpower has a high MCR when you trade it for money. For example, let's say you earn $33 an hour. That $33 has a high MCR because it costs you one hour of manpower to duplicate it. That's a high cost because your manpower, your time, it's finite. We all only have 24 hours in a day. And look, you gotta eat, shit, and sleep for at least a third of those. So this limits your money earning potential and it traps you in this cycle of the rat race that we were just talking about. Third and final reason why the old rich ruse is a joke and it's a deception is because it is permissioned. And this is getting at the point that those two forms of leverage that we discussed earlier, manpower and money, are permissioned. You can't just conjure them out of thin air. You need permission to get them or you need to consent to giving them. So for example, you willingly give your manpower to your boss and then your boss willingly gives you their money. So both manpower and money require permission, which means that it's inefficient and it's also low leverage. The overarching point here is that the old rich ruse made you believe that the rat race and a high marginal cost of replication and permissioned leverage like manpower and money are the only vehicles to wealth. But as the name suggests, that is all a ruse. Here's why. The new rich rule. The new rich rule refers to the modern wealth building model where individuals leverage media to make money online. There are three reasons why you should follow the new rich rule. The first one refers to something I like to call curiosity-based creation. This involves leveraging the internet to create code or content-based products around your genuine curiosities. And I like to think of this as the antithesis to the rat race, the opposite of it. Example of curiosity-based creation, let's say I create a community that helps people improve their online writing because that's something I'm genuinely curious about. The cool thing about curiosity-based creation is that over time, it leads to a collection of products that uniquely represent your own interests. And what I'm getting at here is that curiosity-based creation, that is a tongue twister, it is how you create your niche of one. I'll let Mr. Dan Co take the reins with this one. Your unique skills, interests, and experience overlap in a way that allow you to solve profitable problems for people you enjoy working with. The authentic don't have to compete with anyone but themselves. That is from The Art of Focus. Another great thing about following the new rich rule is that it means you have no marginal cost of replication, no MCR. Something has no MCR if it doesn't cost anything to duplicate or copy. Both categories of media, content and code, they have no MCR because you can create a piece of content or write a line of code once and then it can be reproduced infinitely for basically no additional cost. That is how the new rich get rich. Take this thread post as an example. I published it three hours ago and then I finished writing and started filming this lesson. So while I was doing that, this one post, the input was replicated 1900 times, which we can see here through the views. And that is the output. And all of that was done for free. So without media and how high leverage it is, I would have had to use a lot of manpower or money to reach 1900 people that quickly. Not to mention that this post alone so far, it's still going, has converted 14 people into my online community. Again, all while I was doing something different, I was just writing this YouTube video script and it was working for me while I was doing something else. Leverage. Another cool thing about following the new rich rule is that it is permissionless. So unlike manpower and money, media, content and code are permissionless forms of leverage. This means that you can leverage media without requiring someone else's permission to use it or to succeed. Naval summarized this point best. He said, coding, writing books, recording podcasts, tweeting, YouTubing, these kinds of things are permissionless. You don't need anyone's permission to do them. And that's why they are very egalitarian. They're very fair. They're the great equalizers of leverage. 
All of that is to say, if you want to earn with your mind and not your time, you need to break the chains of the old rich ruse and embrace the new rich rule. Here's how. Rat race escape plan. Productize yourself in three steps. The rat race escape plan is a three-step process to break free from the manpower for money trap and join the new rich by productizing yourself. Okay, that is a mouthful, a lot of words there. Let's take a look at this term, productize yourself. Productize yourself involves using your knowledge and then leveraging media to create and distribute a valuable product. Another quote from Naval, arm yourself with specific knowledge, accountability, and leverage. That right there, that is how you productize yourself. And those three things, specific knowledge, accountability, and leverage, equal the steps of the rat race escape plan. Step number one, acquire specific knowledge. Specific knowledge is knowing how to do something society cannot yet easily train other people to do. So this means specific knowledge is taught through mainly apprenticeships and definitely not by schools or colleges or universities. And the cool thing about specific knowledge one of them at least, is that you can acquire it through curiosity-based creation, that thing that we spoke about a few minutes ago. You acquire specific knowledge by doing the things that feel like play to you, but work to others. Again, coming back to that community example, building an online community feels like play to me. I fucking love it. But to a lot of other people, it just looks like a lot of work and not much fun. I would consider that a form of specific knowledge, my ability to build a community and to love that process. And there isn't a university degree about building communities, at least as far as I'm aware. Then we have step number two, which is take accountability. Accountability equals personal branding plus a personal platform plus taking risk. Basically, taking accountability requires you to get skin in the game. Nassim Taleb wrote a great book by that same name called Skin in the Game. In that book, he said, courage, risk-taking is the highest virtue. We need entrepreneurs. And the opposite of an entrepreneur is an employable person. Taleb has some kind words to say about such a person. An employable person is the one you will never find in a history book because these people are designed to never leave their mark on the course of events. The whole point here is that you must embrace accountability and take business risks under your own name to be rewarded with leverage. That brings us to the third and final step, choose leverage. So we know our three M's of leverage are manpower, money, and media. But by this point, hopefully we know that manpower and money, they're not readily available to everyone. But media in the form of content and code is. So my strong suggestion is that you should choose content or code. If I was to go even further, I would highly suggest content because it's how you build a personal brand and that relates to accountability. Plus AI is getting better and better by the day at writing code. And that is how you productize yourself in three steps. You acquire specific knowledge, you take accountability, you choose your leverage, I would choose content. And if you can do that, you can escape the rat race and come and join the new rich, which is what I'm actively working towards. Don't take my word for it. Another quote from Naval, if you have a specific knowledge, accountability, and you have leverage, they have to pay you what you're worth. Simple summary. The three M's of leverage, manpower, money, and media in the form of content and code. The old rich ruse is the traditional wealth building model of trading manpower for money. The new rich rule is the modern wealth building model of leveraging media for money. Finally, we spoke about the rat race escape plan, and this refers to productizing yourself in three steps by firstly, acquiring specific knowledge, taking accountability, and choosing leverage in the form of content or code. If you do that, that is how you join the new rich. And finally, here is the lesson. It is the one thing you should take away from everything we have discussed so far. Break free from the old rich ruse by following the new rich rule and the rat race escape plan. One final quote from Naval, I swear it is the last one. It's probably the best. Earn with your mind, not your time. And that is what Saints College helps you do. It's my community that I've mentioned a few times in this lesson so far, and it gives creators a roadmap to their first 1,000 followers through online writing, and it helps you do that without feeling overwhelmed or lonely. The start of the journey can be hard, I know, 
So come and join Saints College. It is completely free, but I might make it paid soon or introduce some sort of limit. I'm not too sure yet. So come and reserve your free spot by going to the link in the description before someone else takes it and then it becomes paid or closed. Anyway, that's it for this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and keep it simple until the next one. Oh yes, it would be remiss of me not to say, please subscribe to the channel. I spent about 40 hours creating this lesson. If you can take like four seconds to click that subscribe button, it would seriously mean a lot to me. And once you've subscribed, be sure to check out this video somewhere up there. Grazie.